Hey guys, this is Rusty78609 in Central Texas. It's about 90 degrees right now, a little warm outside here. And I've pretty well got the rough edges off of it ready to go. I put some uh, Reflectix on the outside. That's where I normally put it when I had the Prius. Why? Because it seems to reduce the heat load more. I've got one, some Reflectix on the back, got the windows open. I'll show you on the inside now. What, what I've accomplished. I've got my steps right here, my two-step deal. Perfect, I have to tell you. But now for the grand opening of Rusty's Camper Top Camping. You are gonna love this. I'll start with the right side. There's a water right there. There's five gallons, six gallons of water. The blue jug holds five. And on the curtain rods, or shower curtain rods, what I've done is I've just hung my clothes uh, across the shower curtain rod on both sides. Well, on, on this side over here, I just have a towel and a windbreaker and a couple of other things. But that's all the clothes except for underwear, socks, and t-shirts, and they're up under this right here in a, in a container. And also up under there is the kitchen, which is that black folding thing for SUVs that folds into two compartments and you can see I've got bananas in there and some chips and some plates and on the, this side over here uh, the second compartment I've got canned goods and my tea and my chia seeds and all that stuff but it's pretty well this is this is about it now of course I'll modify it as I go but uh, this is the definite beginning Again, the clothes are just hung over the rod, but that also acts as privacy. Now, when if I get to a spot and it's fairly scenic, then what I'll do is I'll just lay the clothes on the bed like I did in the Prius, and I'll have the view all the way around and out the back, too, because if it's cool enough, I'll take that Reflectix off the back and just sit in here and watch the world go by. But that's the bed. That's a, a, a triple king-size bed. No, actually, it's a Coleman cot. It has the little springs right down here. You can see them. they got springs all the way around, which adds a little comfort. It comes with about a one-inch pad, which is, uh, I think it was designed for somebody that had slept on the ground for a long time. Uh, I put on top of that a trifold memory foam mattress. It says, I think it's five inches, but I believe it's really just four, but that's no problem. Works fine. And what the this whole thing is six foot, uh, let's see, I think it's six foot four, which is perfect. I'm six foot two. I've actually got four pillows up there because when I sit, when I sit in bed, of course, this will be the everything bed. This will be the, the recliner. It'll be the sitting spot. It will be the reading spot. And it will also be the sleeping spot. Spot. Scott. Uh, that's translated to mean spot. Okay, and what am I going to do for cover? Well, this sheet is a king size sheet, believe it or not. I've had it for years. Why don't I get one that fits? I have no clue. But anyway, it's just folded, and then I can just pull this over. I did it in the Prius. So it works fine. And then this is a little blanket. It's just 100% polyester. And then, of course, I've got a uh, uh, sleeping bag that's folded under here also. I mean, it's, it's under this, okay? And so that way, all I've got to do is just pull the top over and zip it up if I choose to, and I'm good to go for some colder climates. So it's, it's okay, guys. I mean, I've got my lights. I've got everything set up pretty good. I can't show you everything. Maybe I can. Yeah, I can. Okay, the, 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 there's my table right up there, and, and the uh, toilet lid's also up there. And the uh, box nearest the cab has clothes in it. This second box has the lights, the LED lights, and the fan are in that box. Uh, the, of course, that jug right there, that's the pee jug for at night. And then the little box at the front there, that's a little toolbox. It's got some tape and some, uh, what do you call it, uh, Velcro tape and stuff in there. And then, of course, that bucket on the right-hand side is the throne. But in the throne are two propane gas containers and the Etexity little burner. And that works good for cooking. Of course, I have to add the ice chest. It'll go right in here. And so that'll be a perfect spot along with that little table to prepare breakfast, meals, or whatever I want to prepare without having to be out among the insects. 
and I like that. I, I mean, this is really good <clears throat> because you can sit up right here on the edge of the bed and prepare your food because you've got the ice chest to get to whatever you need. The kitchen right here, you just pull it out and get whatever you want there. And I've got, of course, some canned goods in there. I bought plenty of, well, not plenty. I bought several uh, organic uh, refried beans because I like those. I, I eat them in the evenings because they make a nice snack. And then there's still space up under here. You can't see much up under there other than just junk. I've got a couple of towels there. I brought me a big styrofoam cup because what I'll do is I'll make some tea and then uh, have me some iced tea with some lemon or whatever I want to put in it. Honey, primarily. And But the pillows are, everything's worked out. I laid there and uh, took, it was going to take a little nap, but I thought, no, I don't want to do that because I hate to, I hate that nappy feeling after you finish your nap. So I just, uh, anyway, I'm kind of hyper. Uh, this thing right here, actually, I found on the, uh, as I was walking one day, and that, that is a, uh, a flashlight. It, it does three things. You, you press a button on the side and the light shines straight up and you press it again and the two little lights in the front come on. So it's just a perfect little night light by itself. So it'll just be a double backup. I've also got a, a, a four cell flashlight. You can't see it, but it's, it's right behind those paper towels there. There's a roll of paper towels right in there. And so we're good to go, guys. I mean, we're good to go. All I got to do in the morning is uh, load the ice chest and uh, we're, we're sitting pretty. I mean, uh, I've already gassed up. Uh, I've got all the groceries. Of course, I got to put in my Kindle and my reading glasses and the stuff that I try really hard not to forget. And then on the way out, I need to uh, put the chain across the entrance, turn the water off. And of course, the power, uh, I leave it on because the refrigerator is on. What else can I tell you? Uh, I can tell you right now that camper top camping as compared to a Prius there, there's much more room in this now as far as the fuel economy it's a no it, it's a no-brainer the prius is getting 50 and this is getting 25 so you know that you, you've doubled your outgo on fuel and that is the most expensive item when you're traveling like this in any vehicle camping and of course i've got those little magnetic hooks uh, right down here eventually what i may do is uh, rig up a storage system along this side so that my clothes can either lay in this thing or uh, fold and go in there some way because then that would get them off that rack. But like I did in the Prius, what I did in the Prius was when, of course, when I was using the bed, I put the clothes on top of the ice chest or laid them over the back of the seat. And, and what I'll do here is, of course, leave them up like that because those shower curtain rods are pretty damn sturdy. I'm surprised. And also added, as you can see, that little uh, rope across there. And the reason I have that there is uh, I have no clue. <laughs> I've also got one across the back. Uh, but, you know, I've got some clothes pins. I thought, well, hell, you know, maybe I can hang up a damp rag there and, and it'll be so cold in there I'll have to get outside. But so, guys, we're going camping in the morning. I wanted to do this video now so that I wouldn't be fooling with it in the morning. I want to get, when I get up, I want to just go get, up, get some ice and... Uh, get on the road and then uh, while I'm driving tomorrow I may or may not I probably will do a video somewhere because uh, you know you get out there on the road driving for eight hours you get a little giddy and uh, but anyway this is the this is the camper setup guys I have to tell you and it's working fine the, the two-step ladders fine this little thing I put here this was my shower pad when I was camping in the Prius it's a little pad it's this little rubberized pad it doesn't slip I love that and uh, I haven't even had to wear my knee pads yet. This uh, carpet y'all sent me or whoever sent me, I can't remember, but it's great. The kitchen's great. The five gallon bucket's great. The lights are great. Uh, I hope I don't miss anything. I got so, I've gotten so many gifts and stuff that I forget who gave what. Or, so just bear in mind that I do appreciate all of those thoughts very, very much. And there I will be laying my head tomorrow, tomorrow night after an eight hour drive and I'll probably have a toddy. You think? You think that's permissible? Well, it is, in my, because I'm president. This is Casablanca, remember that. This is the White House, and I am the president here. Here I am just one step above God. So, and I'll get some feedback on that, I'm sure. But anyway, having said that, guys, it's, there it is, in all its radiating glory. And tomorrow we begin an adventure that, uh, you know, we'll see how it goes. I mean, the weather looks good. The, where I'm going, I'm going to go to 
Guadalupe Mountains, then over toward uh, Aguirre Springs, north of Las Cruces, I guess it is. In the Oregon Mountains, there's some places you can camp for free, or you can camp at Aguirre Springs, and then from there over to Socorro. Just uh, north of Socorro on the way to, to Albuquerque is some free camping, BLM. And then I'll head over toward Grants, maybe. Uh, near Grants, there's another BLM place. Actually, there's several. And so that's kind of the initial plan, and then after that, it's just kind of watch the weather and go where it's cool. Because during the day is where the issue is. During the day is the issue. You know, even though I can put the reflect text on the window and do all these cute little things, when there's no shade, uh, I, I have a feeling this thing's going to get a little uncomfortable even at 80 degrees. But we'll see. I can work all that out. Believe me, it'll be a challenge. But having said that, guys, thumbs up right here from Rusty's Casablanca. Thumbs up, carpe diem, adios, bye-bye, buy USA made when you can, drink plenty of water, three quarts a day will not hurt you. You may TT like a racehorse or two or three peckered possum, but you'll feel a hell of a lot better. And take deep breaths, breathe in through your nose, out through your mouth several times a day. And, you know, it'll lower, your, it lowers stress, lowers your blood pressure. And so, therefore, you will live longer, I think. And... Anyway, I'm sitting here looking at this stuff, trying to see if I forgot anything. But I've got a checklist to remind me to check my checklist. And uh, But anyway, stretch, walk, keep your health, because we're leaving tomorrow. And uh, we'll, see, we'll see how this thing unfolds. Anyway, one last glance at all. Look upon my wealth, ye mighty, and weep. Wonderful, isn't it? You know, it, it is, just think there used to be guys that rode horses across country with a, some beef jerky and maybe a canteen full of water. So, you know, I, I think I can do this. <laughs> I think I can. So anyway, guys, thumbs up. Adios. Enjoy your day. We'll be talking to you sometime tomorrow. I'll post this today. So adios. Oh, also on the comment things. I know y'all leave a lot of comments and I appreciate it. I try to get to all of them. And while I'm traveling... Uh, there may be times that I don't respond to all the comments like I probably should, but it, just because of lo logistics and cellular signal and stuff. If I miss you, it's not because I'm being arrogant or rude. It's just because the system wasn't there when I needed it. So anyway, enjoy your day. Adios. Bye-bye. What luxury. What freaking luxury. <laughs>